Hello guys and welcome to my first video. Today we're going to discuss a subject that confuses a lot of people, whether you should build your weapon with accuracy or stability in mind. In short, accuracy will increase how precise your weapon is, i.e. how close to the aim point the shots will land. Stability will increase the weapon's handling, decreasing the recoil of the weapon. Basically, on any weapon that fires in fully automatic, you will want to increase the stability, so there is less recoil and the weapon will generally be more accurate. For weapons that fire in single shot, you'll want to increase the weapon accuracy, as landing shots on your aim point is crucial. There are a few exceptions, which we will discuss in a minute. For now, we will skip to a few weapon tests to show the idea. In this test, we have the Scar H without any attachments. As you can see, the Scar is a very high kicking weapon, so taming this recoil is tantamount for improving this weapon and gaining the maximum damage this weapon can put out. Here, we see the Scar with stability improving attachments, a muzzle brake and a folding grip. As you can see, the Scar kicks a little bit less, making it easier to handle. In this test, we'll be taking a look at a weapon that requires accuracy, the first marksman rifle, the RFB. The RFB generally has no problem with accuracy, as you can see. With the next test, you can see that when we put on accuracy improving attachments, in this case the heavy barrel and the stubby grip, we get a tighter cluster of shots which are more precise to where the aim point is. So which attachments increase accuracy and stability? For an accuracy increase, go to the heavy barrel and the barrel attachment options. In the underbarrel options, pick either the stubby grip or the potato grip. Combine these to see the greatest improvement. For an increase in stability, choose either the muzzle brake or compensator from the barrel option, and for the underbarrel, choose either the angled grip or the folding grip. Once again, combining these for the greatest improvement. As mentioned earlier, there are a few exceptions to this rule. Overall, experimentation is the best choice. Find a setup that works best for you. One of these exceptions is the SAR-21. The SAR is already a very stable weapon and increasing the stability even more is a bad plan, as you are lowering the accuracy. For this weapon, the best option would be to have one attachment devoted to increasing accuracy and one attachment to increasing stability, for example combining the heavy barrel and the angled grip. There are more exceptions to the rule, but, as said, experimentation is the best option. This rule is just there to aid in your attachment selection. So there you have it, a short guide on whether to choose to build your gun around accuracy or stability. I hope I made it easier for you to understand and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please join me again next time when we will be taking a look at the campaign unlocked assault rifle, the QBZ-95-1, and whether it is worth going through the trouble of unlocking it. Stay tuned.